One of the most decorated Australian soldiers of World War I was a young apprentice boilermaker named Joe Maxwell. Joe Maxwell enlisted in the Australian Imperial Force on the 8th of February, 1915. He admitted that it was the pay rather than the motives of patriotism that prompted him to join up. Joe Maxwell exemplifies the idea of the gifted leader in war. He's a boilermaker from the Hunter Valley, joins the 18th Battalion, serves on Gallipoli and the Western Front. He's decorated four times in 12 months for bravery. Maxwell's arguably the second most highly decorated soldier that Australia produced in the war. After the war, Joe Maxwell publishes his memoir of the war called Hells, Bells and Mademoiselles, and it's still regarded as a, a candid and groundbreaking memoir of Australia in the First World War. When we reached the German front line, it had been pounded into a chaos of broken timber, smashed dugouts and riven concrete. Men lay twisted amidst the wreckage in all kinds of fantastic and unnatural attitudes. Feet protruded from the churned drifts of yellow mud, torn red arms were thrust from the tangled wire. Broken and battered corpses were merged inextricably amid the billowing ocean of mud and the awful wreckage of war. Joe distinguished himself in battle as an aggressive soldier, and he quickly rose through the ranks. But he had a dark side. Although he was a leader, he found it very hard to accept discipline. So it made him a very difficult man to command. Joe's finest hour was in the last Australian attack of the First World War at the Hindenburg Line, along the beaurevoir fonsom front. His actions resulted in his receiving the Victoria Cross. His company commander was severely wounded early in the advance, and Lieutenant Maxwell at once took charge. The enemy wire, when reached under intense fire, was found to be exceptionally strong and closely supported by machine guns. Whereupon Lieutenant Maxwell pushed forward single-handed through the wire and captured the most dangerous gun. Throughout the day, Lieutenant Maxwell set a high example of personal bravery, coupled with excellent judgment and quick decision. In lots of ways, he really is worth singling out because he's a classic Anzac type. Um, the man who comes from nowhere, who finds his, his role in war, is a superb leader, an aggressive fighter, and then merges back into obscurity. He worked only as a gardener after the war. So he's a decorated officer, he meets the king, but he just gets menial work after the war. But we've got the book, and, and the book really is one of the, the great memoirs of Australia. The war drained Joe Maxwell of his initiative and his health became unstable when it ended. And aside from publishing his memoir, Hells, Bells and Mademoiselles, he really did little else with his life. War, unfortunately, fosters a skill that is irrelevant in peacetime. <laughs>